Hey friends, it is me, Alana. Welcome up to my channel. I wanted to start off this reading vlog today while I was thinking about it and while I had time. So I actually found my TBR jar. I'm still kind of unpacking a lot of things. Some of my books are still packed up, all that kind of stuff, so I'm slowly going through boxes and everything. And I found this bad boy. I don't know if I'm going to incorporate this guy in my TBRs again or not. I haven't decided. But I thought it would be fun to pick maybe like two or three prompts to read for this this uh, vlog and see how it goes. So I remember like I like put a bunch of prom like TBR prompts into this. And so I would just pull one and then like pick a book based on that prompt. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna pull from the bottom first. Alright, what is this one? Oh, perfect. Alright, a book gifted to you. That is my first prompt. I'm gonna take one of the ones that fell out so I don't have to put it back in. This one is a middle grade. Alright, so middle grade. So this is perfect. Alright, and then my last one I'm gonna just take from, from the top. I'm gonna pull a little Effie trinket here and well, it says read a book by a black author. Those are my three prompts. Let me go find some books. So I have three tentative picks I can be reading for this vlog. So for a book gifted to me and a book by a black author, I can do The Band Bookshop of Maggie Banks by Shauna Robinson and or On Rotation by Shirlene Obobi. So both of these were gifted to me for Christmas by I believe it was Ray. Pretty sure. And um, they're both by black authors. So I could do like one of these or both of these depending on how I'm feeling as I get through this vlog. And then for middle grade I'm going to do something that I'm already kind of doing for my TBR regardless for this month. And that is Holopox, The Hunt for Morgan Crow. By Jessica Townsend. This is the third book in the Nevermore series. It's also a middle grade. So I figured those picks will be will be great. So I will update you once I start one of these and then we will go from there. Hey friends, it's me checking in for my vlog. I just started Nevermore. So far, I think I'm up to like maybe chapter 7, and I'm probably like an hour in maybe, if that. So far, I'm liking it. It took me a minute to kind of get back into it because it's been a while since I read the first two books, but so far, I think it's cute. I'm really uh, liking the friendship dynamics again. I originally thought those were cute when we first got them in the second book, so I like that. And I still love the little found family that she's found. I liked it in the first book, the second book, and this book where like the man that originally brought her into the world, like they've kind of created this little family at his hotel with all the staff and his nephew and stuff like that. So I really like that too because it's like a little cute, it's, it's cute. So we're diving now into like the mystery. So I think we're just getting to the mystery that that's going to happen or the big thing that's, that's going to be the prominent issue of the book because they've uh started on the next level of their training slash like studies and stuff like that so it should be intriguing to see what happens next i will update you on the next part Bye. hey friends it's me checking in all right so i am on chapter 22 of holopox so far and we've gotten to the like main issue so so far in the story there are these beings called wonder moles and they're basically animals that like have a soul and like can talk and stuff and like have a conscious mind and so in the story the wonder moles are becoming infected with this thing called holopox where they like basically turn into rabid animals or like their true form and they attack people and then once they like are done they like become hollow basically like they go into like a coma almost except the way they des they're describing it is like there's nothing in there. It's just a shell. In the story, they're trying to figure out why 
this is happening, where this disease is coming from, all that kind of stuff, how it spread. And then the other thing is that Morgan is moving up in her schooling, and so she is introduced to this extra society, the extra portion of the society where their job is to basically record and study the history of Wondersmiths. And so she is given access to that history in order to learn about her power and grow. So it's kind of like a two-part thing going on in the story. Um, it's really interesting so far. I'm enjoying it. Um, Morgan is having to learn how to balance like her life but also wanting to learn and grow so much within her field. And so that's what she's kind of struggling with right now. And then of course just figuring out why this disease is coming about and what to do about it essentially. So um, I'm only, I have like 2 hours and 28 minutes left so I'll probably finish it like tomorrow on my way home from work by the end of the day hopefully. Um, but yeah, I, I'm looking forward to seeing how this ends, and once I do, I will update you guys on my initial thoughts overall so far of the series and just of this book. But, um, yeah, so far it's interesting. I'm enjoying seeing her friends again, um, though, like, it's, it's interesting seeing more of the dynamics, like, now that they're close Er, they're like fighting and there's, like, things going on, so it's interesting to see how these dynamics are, like, flowing overall um but yeah so that's my little update hey friends <laughs> i am back um uh, to finish finish this vlog so <laughs> i finished holopox i believe i gave it let me double check but i believe i gave it like three stars 3.5 stars i think it was pretty good i think i liked the second one the best so far out of all of the books i'm looking forward to see what she does next in the fourth book i don't believe it's out yet it might be coming out this year but don't quote me on that because i haven't looked up all the details about it and then i did start on rotation by shirlene Ob obobi and or obi obuobi however you say it i dean up this maybe like 10 chapters i can't remember the exact number but i was so frustrated with the book that i was just like i can't keep reading this it's actually bothering me so much and it's making me kind of angry so it's about this girl whose parents are immigrants they are they immigrated from i think nigeria or some part of africa and so she is the first born daughter of immigrants so she was raised with this expectation of being perfect of going being a doctor going to med school so she's going through that and when she starts the book the story she's realized that she doesn't she didn't get the score she was hoping to on one of her med school tests and that's diminished some of her prospects in regards to like specialties she can go into in that sense and so the day she finds out she like goes home and then she finds this like she go she decides to go to this festival i think she lives in chicago and there she meets this guy and so also her boyfriend had just dumped her too that day so she meets this guy and she they like hang out she thinks there's a spark and then she goes to kiss him because he asked for a number and stuff and he's like whoa i'm not interested and she like freaks out and then like walks away from him because she's just like okay will you let me on so her friends then buy her beyonce tickets for her birthday i think and they go to the beyonce concert and who they happen to see this guy that she met at this festival and his girlfriend so now it's a whole thing because she's like well now you like were flirting with me blah blah, blah and you had a girlfriend so then he like just keeps happening to happening to run into her life in different aspects so like the hospital that she's doing one of her rotations at or that she is doing a rotation at or all her rotations at i'm sorry um he's there he like volunteers there or something so she sees him there too and the whole time he keeps maintaining this air of i'm not interested in you <laughs> excuse me i'm not interested in you i just want to be friends and then she's letting this happen but like the vibes he's putting out is actually i am interested in you i'm just not i just don't want to date you 
I'm just here for the benefits of your company and your time and attention without actually giving you the commitment that you deserve. And that's what was frustrating me about this book was that, like, he was doing that. Like, when they met, he was flirting with her. He was like, can I draw you? Let's go to this festival. He bought her a gift, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, he's interested. He then is like, I'm not interested. And, okay, I agree that guys and girls can be friends, guys can be nice to girls, blah, blah, blah. But there's a certain vibe that a guy will put out that you're just like, you know whether it's a friend vibe or it's like a I want you vibe. And he was putting out an I want you vibe the entire time. It was just frustrating me because the guy was trying to play this, like, innocent card where he was just like, well, I was just trying to be your friend, I'm not in a place to date, like, I'm not really interested in you. Also, I'm like, well, why aren't you interested in her? Why why can't she be the one that you're interested in? I don't understand. Um, but then all like I'm like, is it because she's dark skinned? Is it because she's black? Is she because she's Afri like why is it now that like she's questioning your intentions? You're like, Well, I'm not interested in you like that. Why are you saying it that way, first of all? But second of all, you're leading her on, and I'm then I'm getting mad at her because you're supposed you're like this smart ass doctor, you're this smart girl who's getting he's literally in med school doing her rotations, all this kind of stuff, and you're letting this guy lead you on, and you know for a fact the vibes he's giving out towards you, and yet you're letting you're just letting it go, and you're like okay he we're just friends he just he's not interested, sis he's interested but he's wasting your time. If you ended up liking this book, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I tried my best, but it just wasn't for me. So, I finished both my books. I feel like this vlog was just a vlog. Um, I feel like they were, it, it was okay reading time for the most part. Glad I got two books off my shelves <laughs> and finished. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching this vlog. Let me know if you liked it down below. If you have any suggestions, concerns, questions, leave all those in the comment section. If there's any books you want me to read for a vlog at some point this year, please let me know. Put them in the comments. I would love to do it. Um, I'm trying to be more, like, conscious about vlogs and just doing them more and just whatever. Um, and if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are awesome flowers in a world full of weeds.